WordPress 6.1 is scheduled to be released on November 1st. It's the last major update to WordPress within this year. And with it comes a brand new default theme called the 2023 theme. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features and how you can play around with it before it's officially released. Yes, this is going to be a sneak peek to WordPress 6.1 and the new 2023 theme. This is important to do because you want to make sure that your production website is going to work properly with the latest version of WordPress. So you're going to want to set up a local development environment and duplicate your entire website to your local environment. And there's various ways to do that using plugins. Or you could just download the database, download your WordPress files and folders. And I have videos on how to accomplish that. But in this video, I just want to show you how to test the latest version of WordPress. So I'm running my local server. I'm using MAMP for this. And I'm going to go to the dashboard. In the plugin section, these are the plugins that I currently have installed. But what I want to do is add new. And then type out WordPress Beta Tester. We're going to install this plugin right here. We're going to activate it. And then we're going to go to the Tools section of our dashboard and go to where it says Beta Testing. So what I want to do here, let me increase the page size or the view size here. So what I want to do here is I want to go to the Bleeding Edge option right here. Now remember, this is only to be used on a development environment. You don't want to use this on a production environment. But basically, we're going to check this off here. Make sure this stays there. You can check out the extra settings if you want. Go back here, click the bleeding edge, and save the changes. So now if you go here to the dashboard and updates, you're going to see your current version is still 6.0.3. But we can update to the latest 6.1 nightly. And this will give you the absolute latest version of 6.1. So we'll update to latest. And now you see we have the latest version of WordPress. You're going to get the about page. And we can scroll down through this a little bit. Make the viewport a little bit bigger. I'm going to collapse the menu for now. So basically this page gives you all the information you're going to need about the latest release. So if we scroll down. You see we have a new default theme powered by 10 distinct style variations. Building on the foundational elements in the 5.9 and 6.0 releases for block themes and style variations, the new default theme, 2023, includes 10 different styles and is accessibility ready. Focus is always going to be on the creator experience. A better creator experience with refined and additional templates. New templates include a custom template for posts and pages in the site editor. Search and replace tools to speed up the design of template parts. And we'll take a look at that in a few. There's more consistency and control across the design tools. Menus got easier to create and manage. There's an improved layout and visualization of document settings. One click lock settings for all inner blocks. There's improved block placeholders. Compose richer lists and quotes with inner blocks. More responsive text with fluid typography. You can now add starter patterns to any post type. You can find block themes faster. Keep your site editor settings for later. A streamlined style system. Improved admin and editor accessibility. And then they have more notes of interest. Like 6.1 includes a new time to read feature showing content authors the approximate time to read values for pages, posts, and custom post types. Updated interface options and features. Continued evolution of layout options. Block template parts and classic themes. Yeah, we're moving more and more to the block editor with every WordPress release that comes out. But still, the vast majority of websites still use classic themes. The developers at WordPress would like to start migrating or moving people to the latest version with block themes. And part of that is getting the developer community to buy into it. And the way they're doing that is by enabling the capability for developers to kind of have hybrid or universal themes. Where you could use some of the block features in classic themes. There's expanded support for the query loopback. Filters for your styles, spacing presets for faster, consistent design, performance highlights. Performance is always a big issue and a big concern because you want your website to perform well within the browser. It is an SEO metric. So WordPress has an entire team dedicated specifically towards performance aspects. And we see some improvements have been put into the latest version of WordPress. 
Then we have content only editing support for container blocks. And then we can learn more about WordPress 6.1 by looking at a brief video. You can explore the learn.wordpress.org website for workshops, tutorials, lessons, things of that nature. You can check out the WordPress field guide and any new release notes. Now let me expand this over here. Let's go to appearance and themes. And you can see we're still using the 2022 theme. But I'm going to scroll down and we're going to see the 2023 theme right here. You can check out more details. 2023 is designed to take advantage of the new design tools introduced in WordPress 6.1 with a clean blank base as a starting point. This default theme includes 10 diverse style variations created by members of the WordPress community. Whether you want to build a complex or incredibly simple website, you can do it quickly and intuitively through the bundled styles or dive into creation and full customization yourself. All right, so let's activate this theme right here. And now let's play around with it. Let's add a new post. When you do this for the first time, you're going to get the welcome to the block editor. You can go through this to get more information how to work with it. So we'll add a title. I'll put in uh, some long ipsum just to fill it out. And now let's take a look at some of the features that we have here. We have our typography size. We can make it bigger or smaller. We have these dimensions, padding and margins. We have border. So if we want to add a border in that manner, we can do that. Background. Text. Now, some of this stuff was already here before the update, but I'm just showing you some of the options here. We can set a featured image. So I'll take the featured image, select the file, have one on my desktop, set featured image, and now let's preview our site. And we see our content down here. The fluid typography. Let's see how that works. I'm going to go to inspect for inspect elements. And as you shrink the browser window, it's responsive. And you see that the fonts get smaller as it goes down. Now, this is for fluid typography, which makes it better for responsive design. So that's another change and enhancement to how this works. All right, now let's go back to the editor. I'm going to put in a list block. List 1, list 2, list 3, and so on. Now, one of the features here is the ability to relocate up and down a list item. Let's say you're working in your list and you don't want to have to copy and paste into a new location. Now you can easily change the location by moving it up or moving it down. So that's pretty cool. And then we also, if we go over here to the details, we can see that based on what we've already put in here, it'll take less than a minute to read. We have 92 words, 549 characters, two paragraphs, and eight blocks. But the time to read is a new feature to the latest version of WordPress. All right, so now let's publish this. We can view the post and we see it here. All right, so now let's edit the site itself using the site editor. Let's click on edit site and let's see what we can do here. Let's click here to toggle the navigation and get the sidebar. Let's check out the templates. We're getting more and more ability to work with templates directly within the site editor. And then we have the template parts as well. But let's go here to site and let's see what options we have. We have the styles over here. You can tweak your site or give it a whole new look and get creative. How about a new color palette for your buttons or choosing a new font? Take a look at what you can do here. Set the design. You can customize your site as much as you like with different colors, typography, and layouts. Or if you prefer, just leave it up to your theme to handle it. Personalized blocks. You can adjust your blocks to ensure a cohesive experience across your site. Add your unique colors to a branded button block or adjust a heading block to your preferred size. 
and you can learn more over here. All right, so let's see some of the options here. We can browse the styles. So every theme is going to be different in how they implement this and what options you have. But we can see that the ability is there to really make your website look different, make it look like your own site. That's pretty cool. Typography. Let's say we want that to be a different font. All right, so we could do that. There's new fonts that are going to be included as well. Let's say for the H1, and you can change it like that. You could also change the spacing if you want, and the case. So if you want it all capitalized or, or lowercase for whatever reason, you can do that. Pretty cool. Now, if you're a developer, you definitely want to check this out and download this latest version of WordPress. Play around with it. Look under the hood. Look at the code. See any changes or any differences. And see what you should be implementing within your themes. See how this latest update impacts what you've been working on. There's a lot of work that's been put into WordPress 6.1 with over 350 enhancements and 350 bug fixes. And there's been over 2,000 updates since WordPress 6.0. So definitely take the time to play around with this. If you're a blogger, a website owner, or if you're a developer, you're going to want to get a better understanding of what the latest version of WordPress looks like, how it works with your plugins and your theme. And if you're using a classic theme, is it time to move over to a block theme? Or are you not ready for that yet? Maybe you're better off using a hybrid theme that will combine some of the classic theme features with the new block theme features. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. Comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy coding.